this parable, the last seed, it actually fell on good soil. So with this good soil, this good dirt, where is the seed? Well, the seed was accepted and multiplied. And this is so cool. Uh, in this soil, it, it accepted the word of truth. It received the word of truth. The seed actually made it into the ground and began to grow. And I, I see this every single week at church and I see this in the lives of my friends uh, and my family members that sometimes the things of God's kingdom, it just clicks and it makes sense and it gets deep into someone's heart. You know, for me as a pastor, I sort of spread seed every single week. I share the, the things of God's kingdom as I'm doing right now. And, and it may be the same thing that I say to you as to someone else. And, and the other person may completely reject it. It may be choked out by the thorns of their life, by the other passions of their life. Or for you, you may hear the very same thing and be receptive to it and forever changed by it. That's the power of God's world. And look at this, this good soil actually becomes the sower, right? It multiplies the seed. This is what's so cool is that you know that your good soil when it multiplies. You know that your good soil, once again, when you start to share the kingdom of God with others, when you go on mission. And one thing I want you to know is right now, as we struggle with this time of COVID-19 and being socially distanced, something that may not be in our minds or on our minds is that we're here to share the gospel with others. The, the mission has never ended. God wants us to multiply the things that he's given us. Now the things of God's kingdom are always growing. Do you know that? God's kingdom is growing right in our midst. We see it every single day, which means that we're to share it with others, that it should be growing within our hearts as well. If God's kingdom is alive in you, then it will be shared with others. So once again, what kind of dirt are you? I went to buy the soil for my yard and they walked me out into this big gravel pit with piles of gravel, gra piles of soil. And uh, they asked me this question, do you want good soil or better soil? And I was like, well, how do you have both? And they said, well, we sift it out. We sift the soil. The more we sift, the better the soil. And what I wanna say to you today is that Jesus wants to sift the soil of our hearts. I want you to stop watching this in a minute or leave church in a few minutes. And I want you to think, I got sifted today. Like, like God got deep inside of my heart and, and, and kind of stirred some things up about my faith and, and got me to ask some real questions. Am I really listening? Do I really want to hear the things of God? And have I continued to blame Him for my lack of understanding when it's actually been my unwillingness to listen? You see, in verse 9, He says this, He who has ears let him hear. So listen to this. You can come, but never hear. You can hear, but never accept. And you can accept, but never obey. Jesus is simply saying this. If you have ears, if, if you're ready, then, then by God's grace, would you listen to the truth today? That Jesus wants to change your life. He wants to give you peace and he wants to move you into better things for your life. You see, true faith, in Jesus is when someone moves from simply showing up to church or watching a video online to truly surrendering your heart. And I want you to know this, anything less is not the gospel. Don't be fooled into thinking that anything but Jesus will save you. And don't be fooled into thinking that anything but obedience shows authentic faith. No, Jesus wants to fully transform us from the inside out.